Toy Story 4, another episode of Amphibia, new One Piece manga chapter came out, new episode of Hot Ones featuring Aubrey Plaza, yeah, yesterday was, uh, yesterday was pretty good. Good morning, happy Friday everybody, it is Friday, which means the weekend is most definitely upon us. Really kind of wish the weather was good, but I do hear that the weather is going to be better this weekend. It should be like, I think like Sunday is going to get to be like 80 or something. So if you have aspirations of going to, to the Finger Lakes at all, or if you're not even, actually, it's very likely that a lot of people who watch this video aren't even in the uh, Corning Horse at Big Flats, Elmira area. So, you know, feel free to ignore this part, but. You still enjoy the weekend when you can. So, anyway, I have a lot to get over. I have a lot to talk about. So, let's get started with. The newest chapter of One Piece came out, which, yes, after a long two-week break, we finally see what happens. And it was awesome. I got to see an old lady throw a dinosaur. That is cool. Um, I'm going to leave it at that, though. Um... What else is there? Uh, oh, yeah, again, yeah, I'm going to be putting a link in the description as to uh, where you can read the One Piece chapter if you want to. So I try not to give away any spoilers, you know, at all. So, yeah, an old lady throwing a dinosaur. That's all you really need to, that's all you really need to know. I mean... That's all, uh, that's all I will, that's the only information that I will divulge, if you will. So, anyway, let's move on to the newest episode of Hot Ones that came out yesterday, which, okay. Rumor does have that Aubrey Plaza has, like, one of the best poker faces probably in America. I believe it because I think she did even better than Halle Berry when it comes to taking down the wings. And Halle Berry took the wings like a champ, so, yeah, fantastic episode of Hot Ones, and definitely, definitely, um, worth watching, you know, can't wait to see who's taking on the wings of death next week, that should be quite interesting, um, what else, although, um, apparently this is one, in th this is one thing that, uh, did happen in yesterday's episode. Apparently, Aubrey Plaza is the most famous person from Delaware, probably in all of Delaware, in the entire country now from Delaware. So, yeah, that's, that's cool. Can't believe she even beat out the guy who invented the Heimlich maneuver. That's even, it's even more cool. I mean, who knows? Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll be the famous, most famous person from Elmira. I mean, It'd be a nice thing to happen considering the fact that, um, the city of Elmira during the Civil War was known for being the worst POW camp. So, yeah, it was basically, yeah, Andersonville was, uh, to the, uh, Confederacy what Elmira is to the Union. So, that, I actually said that in the wrong order, but you get the idea. Um, what else is there? Oh, yes, um, well, actually, I already talked about Toy Story 4 last night, so don't really need to talk about that again. So, without any further ado, let's get into the newest episode of Amphibia, which was uh, the domino effect and taking charge. And actually, I should point out that um, there's no new episode tonight. Or, sorry, sorry if I'm a little tired, I'm... Uh, a little sleepy. Again, whenever I go see movies, I always um, end up going to sleep later than I should. So, um, new, so no new episode this week, but next week from Monday through Thursday, we are going to get new episodes. Cannot wait for that. I'm actually looking at the list right now, so, so I know. And, um... <clears throat> Without further ado, it's, uh, again, the domino effect taking charge. So, the domino effect starts with, um, you know, Anne Sprague, you know, playing around in the woods, which is actually really funny because it's clear they're trying to do, like, baseball, but 
it involved using a watermelon and apparently a scythe that was fashioned from a stick and like the uh the claw of like a praying mantis which okay oh and the funny thing is like and swings like i whiffed it she loses the scythe that flies right towards sprig sprig ducks but slices his head open and apparently sprig has hair and has like you have hair <laughs> so that was really cool and they find this um cat to pillar huh see what it is there it the looks and behaves like uh Anne's pet cat, Domino, you know, back at home on, in, you know, the human world or whatever. So, that's neat. And, you know, it behaves like a cat, you know, it purrs, you know, it, well, in this case, it, it sheds like, you know, silk or web, like a, um, yeah, it's, it's silk, sorry, spiders are web, caterpillars are silk. Um, like a cat sheds. You know, it sort of, it, it play bites, even though it turns out that the, um, the cat itself is actually a very dangerous, um, uh, predator that when it becomes a, uh, you know, giant butterfly type creature, it's referred to as an amphibivore, which obviously if amphibia means, you know, frogs and toads, amphibia is really derived from Latin meaning you know, land and sea, so, which is what, you know, frogs and toads are able to do, and salamanders too, but, you know, we haven't seen any salamanders yet, at least in the show, and vor obviously means, you know, to eat, you know, basically when the caterpillar becomes a butterfly, it becomes a predatorial creature that eats frogs, but Anne uses the uh, cat toy that she had, which is like a little mouse with a little, you know, jingle bell on it whatever and you know shakes it and you know tries to lure it away and sets it sets it free so yeah although huh, huh, excuse me they do do one classic trope that actually is funny where um hot pop is like every time they bring a pet home they say they'll take care of it and they're there for the love and part but all the cleaning up after it and all the shenanigans he gets into, I'm the one who has to do it. So, yeah. The, of course that would, of course that would happen. So, yeah, the domino effect was, you know, really good. Plus the episode ended on a happy note, even though they had to give it away. Um, Spray actually makes like a doll that is supposed to look like Domino's cat. And they do one joke that, I have seen before, but, you know, it's the end of the episode. It kind of called for a little bit of levity, considering that, even though it was a dangerous animal, you know, we still had to give it away. Where, um, Sprig gives her, you know, the, the, the cat doll, if you will. And, actually, it was funny because, uh, the caterpillar also, like, spat out hairballs, and Sprig's like, I made this out of the hairballs that, uh, the Domino made. So, yeah. So at first, Anne takes it and stares at it, and Sprig's like, do you like it? You don't like it, do you? Okay, I'll take care of it. Then the episode ends with Anne saying, I love it! In a way, it's kind of like a certain little companion I have who appears on weekends, holidays, and special occasions on these videos. Man, if only today was Saturday. But, anyway. Um, so there's that. then there's Taking Charge, where... um. You know, they're bored one day, and Anne apparently has the new season of one of those reality sort of Netflix-type shows on her phone, which, you know, they show, um, which uh, she shows uh, Sprig, Polly, and Hop Hop, you know, what uh, what the show is. It's, it's called Suspicion Island, and it borrows tropes from a lot of things. It borrows tropes from Lost... Um, you know, a few of those, uh, uh, soap operas, you know, it borrows again the Netflix aspect where, uh, you know, you can watch the entire season online. Well, actually, I want to say it's Netflix, even though some YouTube channels, you know, do that as well, but they don't really do an entire season, but, you know, that's how it works, I guess. And 
at first, it turns out that, you know, Polly and Sprig and Anne really like it, but Hop Pop, you know, does not because he thinks it's stupid. But during the night, someone sneaks out and, you know, watches the rest of it on Anne's phone. He uses up the rest of the batter on Anne's phone, so they travel to this one mountain area where they have uh, zapapedes, which they're centipedes, but they they zap their prey with electricity. So, Hot Pop admits that he's the one who, you know, watched it. He's like, I will avenge your phone! Then, like, he jumps into the pit of Zappapedes. He's like, huh, oh, this isn't so bad. Ah! And then, like, you know, multiple shocks or whatever. And so, they all save Hot Pop, and Hot Pop looks at the phone, and the phone is 10,000% charged. He's like, hmm, that's a lot of percentage. So... Yeah, apparently they know what to do if they want to uh, charge Anne's phone, which definitely answers how they're going to do that. Because I get that it is a kid's show, and you're going to have some suspension of disbelief, but the fact that Anne's phone can still work after so many days, or however long she was there, that is something that a lot of, you know, smarter people are going to, think about and I was thinking about that as well but I'm sure that a show like this it's actually trying to fill the void of shows like Star vs. the Forces of Evil or Gravity Falls again this is the sort of show that would you know try and you know address that sort of issue and they do I mean it's a little silly how they do it but you know at least it doesn't you know pander to any lowest common denominator you know, it definitely doesn't resort to any, you know, lame jokes or anything akin to that. So, you know, I can definitely stick by whatever's going on. So, yeah, with that said, you know, first full week that, you know, Amphibia was on, had premiered. It's going to be premiering until, you know, Monday through Thursday until... Like, mid to late July, looks like. Yeah, um, yeah, mid to late, yeah, like July 18th, that's when, um, that's when the, that's when the last episode that's scheduled to a premiere comes out. So, cannot wait to talk about it even more. I'm really digging the series so far. And some of you guys are probably wondering, why are you paying so much attention to a kid's show? I mean, yeah, the show is good, but you're putting a little more effort than you would do for um stuff like America's Got Talent or even more so the auditions for The Voice. Well, full disclosure, Gravity Falls is one of the best shows to air on Disney Channel probably in this entire decade, animated or otherwise, which is saying a lot because we were just coming off of a recent decade or latter half of a decade. I'm talking about the 2000s, by the way, where animation as a whole was just really bad. To put things into perspective, had the movies Up and Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, you know, not hit theaters, 2009 would have been like the worst outright year for um, animation as a whole. That's how bad it was. So we get to the 2010s and we get shows like Phineas and Ferb and Gravity Falls, and Rick and Morty, you know, shows that are actually really, 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 really good. Well, full disclosure, I missed out on Gravity Falls. And, I mean, I have seen it, and obviously, you know, I really like the show, but, you know, I missed it when it first aired. And it would be like someone who would just be in, say, watching Avatar The Last Airbender for the first time, and I saw that show when it premiered, when it did. So that's why I have, like, a great emotional attachment to it. And that's not to say I don't have any attachment towards Gravity Falls. But, you know, it's... You know, there's definitely a difference. I say this because the people who made Gravity Falls are also making Amphibia. So I want to be there every step of the way. And I'm glad to see, at the very least, that I am. I'm glad to see that it's good. I'm... Again, I cannot wait to talk about it more and share it with you all. And, you know, hopefully I'm turning you guys on to the series as well because, you know, maybe you can come up with your own theories as to what's going to happen next because, 
you know, I certainly can't wait, you know, I'd like to come up with theories too, but again, we live in the days of the internet, I'm sure there's lots of content out there involving that, so I'm really excited, I cannot wait to see more, and yeah, this was a great way to have a Friday, so like, favorite, share, hit that subscribe button, follow me on the social media platforms, I'm humbled I made this video for all of you guys who watch and enjoy for today. I hope we all have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Remember, if you guys are on Tiger Channel, I'm always going to be here to learn here. And I'll always have your back. Take care and make good choices.